Hi, I'm Jen Sotolongo, founder of the blog Long Haul Trekkers, and I am here with my dog Sitka talking about the Gunner Kennels. Um, Sitka is a 42 pound cattle dog mix, and I have a G1 medium for him. And I'm going to show you some of the features and talk a bit about why I really love the Gunner Kettle and why I chose to use a kettle in my car in the first place. Um, when I got Sitka, he was very anxious in the car. He would whine constantly. He would get up and move back and forth across the seat. He would lunge at cars. He would bark. He, he, was, he was a nightmare. And I was really worried I was going to get into an accident. Um, so I tried a harness system and that helped some with the movement, but he would still try and turn around and get himself tangled in the attachments and I'd have to stop and pull over and detangle him. And so that wasn't a great option either. And that's kind of when I learned that a kennel might be my only option. And I'm really glad that I came to that realization because not only is it good for dogs with car anxiety, but it's just a safe place to have your dog in the car. We wear seatbelts as humans to keep ourselves safe. And a lot of dog owners don't realize that our dogs need some kind of secure system to keep them safe in the event of an accident as well. And gunners are quite frankly, the safest kennels on the market. They have put them to the test. They've dropped them off of 200 foot cliffs. They've shot them with guns. They've put them in a 4,000 pound pressure vice that broke the vice. Um, so, I trust these kennels with my dog's life, literally. Um, as you can see, it's pretty snug for Sitka, and that's exactly how you want it to be. He can still get in and turn around inside, no problem. But that small space helps him feel more secure in the car, and he can't get up and move as easily as he could when he was loose in the back seat or um, even if he were in a bigger kennel. And so his car anxiety is practically gone. Sometimes he's so quiet. I have to look in the rearview mirror and call his name to make sure he's still alive back there because I'm just not used to him being that quiet. So this is worth it, hands down, if your dog has car anxiety um, because it will really help them. And um, you know, I know of people who have been in car accidents and their car rolled over three times and their dogs were totally safe in their gunner kennels. So I know firsthand somebody that was in a car accident with these and pro have proven their safety. So uh, Gunner also has tons of testaments on their website that show the exact same thing. So you know that these are really safe and you have the people telling you to prove it. So now I'll take you through some of the features of the kennel and, and show you a bit more, give you a little tour. As you can see, the kennel has plenty of space on the inside. Sika can get up, stand up, turn around, and he still has plenty of space over his head. Here's the inside without Sitka inside. You can see it's lined with the performance pad, which helps keep him cool in hotter weather. And there's plenty of air vents that help with airflow on really hot days. To open and close the door, you simply just use the latch and it keeps it secure. If you want it even more secure, you can, you, you can flip these uh, latches here at the top and the bottom, and they'll add an extra layer of security. Additionally, you can use a key to lock it even further. I have a 2012 Subaru Forester, and you can see that there's plenty of space in the back for the kennel. I can put both rear seats up, no problem. There's a little bit of visibility block in the rear view mirror, but it's not enough to hinder my view at all. The kennel is pretty heavy, but these padded handles at either end make it easier to lift in and out of my car when I need to. In the rear of the kennel, there's another window vent, and then at the bottom, there's a drainage plug, so if it gets wet or you travel in wet weather, you can easily drain it. At all four corners, you have those metal pins where you can loop the straps in to secure it even further to your car. Since I have mine on one side, I kind of loop it around and secure it that way. And that concludes the tour of the Gunner Kennel. Thanks so much for watching this review. Uh, you can visit my blog, longhaultrekkers.com, to read the blog post review that I have on the kennel that goes into a bit more depth. 
and to read any other articles about getting outdoors with your dog, dog training, and gear guides and travel itineraries for getting outdoors with your dog. Thanks so much.